So we want to turn this backwards. So we're going to pick the big and the small out here. So the big bound y equals 1 half x plus 2. And y equals x is the small. Now we graph. And of course, we're going between x values between 0 and 4. Now when I draw my graph, the only thing I'm sure of at this point is my x coordinate is going to be between 0 and 4. So I don't really know where my y is going to be. I have some idea. We're about to figure out exactly where y is going to be. So y equals x is our low. Let's make that a straighter line. Now y equals 1 half x plus 2. So we have a y-intercept of 2. And our slope is 1 half. So we're going to intersect all these places. So it was pretty straightforward to graph the region. Now what we're going to do is try to flip it around. So I have to solve the equations for x. So the bottom equation, we have x equals y. And then the top equation, I'm going to multiply by, half, uh, by 2. So we have 2y equals x plus 4. Subtract 4, 2y minus 4 equals x. So I'm going to do something I don't normally do, which is I'm going to extend these lines quite a bit longer. So I've drawn these two line segments basically by restricting their x-coordinates. That's why I stopped them at x equals 0 and x equals 4. So I'm going to just extend them a little bit further than we normally do. Of course, these lines go on forever. Let's go ahead and now do our best to write down this region with intervals, or uh, d x dy changed around. So we're going x in the interior, y in the exterior. All right, easy question, what's the small y value? Zero and big one's going to be four. Now what we're going to do is look. At, we're going to turn our head sideways and look for the big X and the small X. So you want to rotate your head to your right so that up is up the X axis right here. So this arrow, the double arrow, should be pointing up. All right. So our big one is now x equals y, that's the big, big function of x. And then the other function is the small function up here. Small function of x. Now with your head tilted, the big function from y equals 0 to 4, so going across all these y values, the big function is the top function the entire time. There's a problem with the small function. If we go from y equals 0 to 4, I'm going to highlight the entire small function from 0 to 4. What problem do we have? Is this the small function for the interval down here from 0 to 2? It sure isn't. So what we have to do is break this into two separate regions. So when we divide it up, we're going to partition it like this right here. So we're going to have an upper half and a lower half. Because the small function goes from the 2y minus 4 to x equals 0. And that's really important. I don't want to count this extra over here. That should not be included. So right now, if I just go ahead and compute this integral, I'm going to get the triangle with the extra part included. Because small, the small bound is the entire green line segment. 
And the big bound is correct. The big bound's correct the entire time. It's the white line segment. So our big bound's just fine. The problem with the small bound, it needs to change right here. So that's why the answer key's wrong on the quiz. Um, and just looking, I think the areas are probably both four. So you should get four as the area total, not eight. So I don't want to fully write this out. So I'm going small. Our small bound had the problem. So I'm going to put two question marks up here because it switches. So there's really two functions. X equals Y, that's totally fine. That's the small bound. So what I need to do is break it into two pieces. And our first will be y between 0 and 2. And the second, y is between 2 and 4. And then our big, big function of y is going to change. Our little function is the same, so I'm not worried about that. So from 0 to 2, our big function of y is going to be 0. Oh, what am I doing? This is, we had a problem. So up here, I know my big function, I, the small function changes. So the big function is x equals y. The small function is what I have to find. So from 0 to 2, our small function is 0. And then from 2 to 4, our small function is that x equals 2y minus 4 that we solved for. So that's going to be the difference right there. So we're going 0 to 2 for the y values. Now. From 0 to 2, my small y function is 0. Is zero. So that's one piece from 0 to 2, now 2 to 4. So going from y equals 2 to y equals 4. And our inner bounds here. So our small is 2y minus 4. And our big is y. Okay, any questions on this right here? So when I was grading, the most common error I saw were these two switched around, but nobody, including myself, split it into two separate areas, which is what you have to do to get the right answer. I luckily got the right answer because I never integrated. I used geometry. So I saw it was a triangle, area was equal to the volume because I was integrating height one, so my error didn't affect my answer because I used geometry. I never used the actual integral.